0.03 gig left. Come on, keep climbing. Keep climbing those megabytes a second. 0.02 gig left. No, it's falling. 0.01. The second it's fully done, I can get back to making this video. 18.34. Is it done? It should be done. Why is it not done? What? What? There we go. This Horizon Festival is going to be big, bigger than ever before. We're going to need to expand our festival site. But to do that, we need fans. And to bring in fans, we need you out there, running races and performing PR stunts. Our festival scouts have been hard at work mapping points of interest with these markers. Set a route to a marker and let's see what we can find. Huh. Let's head out there in our Ford Shelby, which we just picked up a while ago, and... I'm working on signing a whole range of music labels and artists. But it's your call, boss. Who will it be? Yeah, honestly, I didn't expect to see this song here. Eggs Gone Give It Here is in this game, but uh, I'm going to go for this. Base arena it is. I'll get the deal signed. Oh, I can... I'll sign a Horizon block party right away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a lot more about this game once everything quietens down, and I'm going to turn the radio off. Kind of like... The second I stop racing, but right now I cannot tell you how much fun this is. I'm I'm having and how gorgeous this little section looks right now. Oh, he's got a run on us. Oh no, I might mess that up a bit. Hug the inside. Okay, it looks as though we have the beginning of the Forza Six problem where one. Driver tar is ridiculously quick and compared to us into the others. He's moving around. He doesn't get it done. P1. Get in. Chalk it up, boss. That's a win. Plenty more to come, I hope. You were quite good at racing cars. Did you know that? No. I had no idea. Or I wouldn't have signed up for the for racing cars. Come on. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, the um the whole idea of collecting fans for a sport. That was a similar idea that was implied, uh, well, employed for Grid 2, and I hated that game. Mostly because of the handling model, but I also thought the kind of story idea behind it was really stupid, because you didn't feel like an ambassador, kind of an almost ambassador for a sport or a uh, kind of a, motor a motorsport for that. You felt like another driver, just in somehow increasing the whole popularity of one sport. This one, you feel like... I the whole thing immerses you to feel like an ambassador of the sport. Well, ambassador of the festival in this case, before so you can increase its popularity and increase its viewership and the fans. But for now, let's not go for plot holes and drive. How might I turn right now? <laughs> you have arrived at your destination. Hey, he made it. Oh! Oh my! Oh my! Still alive, boss? Excellent. They love that. One. Ow, my back! I'll tell the scouts to find more. Meanwhile, I'm about to go and have a very lively phone call with our insurance company. Yeah, my back. My back hurts now. Move it! <laughs> uh, GPS voice off. Horns. How do you use the horn? I, I need to know that now. What, what's the control for the horn? It's the right stick.
That's a horn. Oh, the rain. Whoa, that is a downpour. That's how a road car asks for a red flag. Stop the race. This is an honest challenge, because... It's not like you're being blocked visibility-wise massively, but... The... Also, the detailing on the road with the rain, on some with some areas being a bit wetter than others, that is fantastic, and I love that. Whoops. Oh, the sun gleaming off the road. Every, this is just... I know a lot of this thing I've talked about the graphics, and normally that's quite a lesser thing well, to talk about with games, or less important, but my god. Oh, this is just... Absolutely spectacular. The second I've second I'm done with this recording, I'm going to wrap it up, and I've got I've, I'm going to have to have some kind of joke to go with it. And a rainbow, and of, of course, just to, just to wrap it all up. Your view is actually blocked a lot less by driving in cockpit cam in the rain. Don't hit those poles though, I've learned that today. Stop hitting those poles. Yeah, I thought... Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, please don't tell me I'm going to lose because of that. No! 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 Oh! <sighs> Never again. That was way too close. You wanted me to win in style? That's how you win in style. Almost. To, I want to see what happens when you get the twenty-one thousand five hundred fans. That's where I'm going to cut this ep this video off. Episode. Maybe, maybe I'll play through the whole rest of this. Oh no, why? Why did you make me take my Mustang off road again? Also, I know we haven't exactly been given a lot of the map to explore at this point, but with the amount that's open at this point. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Sorry! Sorry! Wow, I can just ford rivers. Whoa! Jeez! Arrow getting some airtime there. We're calling these ones drift zones. Turn in hard and use your e brake to drift as far as you can between the flags. No. <laughs> No, oh. Okay, this is getting really annoying because I want to use the outside, but then there's traffic cars coming down on the right-hand side because Australia actually acknowledge, acknowledges that you're supposed to drive on the left-hand side of the road. What did you think? Not bad, huh? Those were my idea. Fans don't come to Horizon to cheer for... Yeah. Control. The bigger the stunt, the better. See if you can turn your one star into two. Yeah, I'm going to try that again. Oh, get... Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to getting on going on the left hand side of the road. That's better.
32,000, is that going to be enough for three stars? Please? Let it be three stars. Oh, Mine damn you. Damn you. I always need to get some better drifts through there. This handling model certainly doesn't... It doesn't favour drifting, I don't think, unless you come up with a proper drifting car. Then I don't think it actually favours drifting, to be honest. Hey, Ross. The Horizon bucket list is where we get a bit existential. That's crazy that they caught... The the day on Earth. Imagine what you drive and what you do in it. Then, take the car I've left for you and do it. That's so weird that they're saying my name in the game. It's just, oh, it's weird. Oh, wait, oh, I just, no, it's fine. This is fine. How far away is the destination? It doesn't say how far away it is. Is it saying because you have to kind of go by the mile? I guess so. But I'm going to kind of try a cross country method. Yeah, I find this funny. It's called the aerial no mad, but it's quite clearly very mad. Oh dear. Oh dear. No. No, this is bad. Okay, drive. Turn around! Okay, I'm going to go along here. It's clearly this is a route it's marked out for me, so it's saying it's a route I can go. Where am I going? I've never felt so hopelessly lost in a racing game before. At least an open world one. Because really, you can't really get lost on a normal racing one. There it is. We've got. We've done it in a pretty good time. Uh, uh, no, please, don't do it. Oh god. Oh god. That. Hey. Let's have a look at the leaderboard then. Oh. Two minute twenty three from one of my friends. Congratulations! He's in the he's in the he's in the top hundred. That's pretty good. But so, what is this going to do? Is this the equivalent of the points you got for wristbands? I'm going to guess. I say it's better than the Horizon Two thing they had, which was just win championships over and over again. Oh my eye. Do you ever get that weird sensation when your eye feels like it? Well, the... I don't know. Your on the second festival site. I've marked a couple of potentials: surface paradise, skyscrapers, city streets, and tight urban racing. And apparently the waves aren't bad either. Or the outback: red sand, blue sky, perfect off-road terrain, and snakes that'll kill you if you slow down for a second. I know which one I'd have um, right now. But honestly, I want to choose this because I haven't seen much of the city and gameplay and stuff, so I'm going to see what this does. 74% of players also chose that as their second. Yes! Well, can I actually go there, or...? Oh, shut up. Ah, okay. Looks, that looks like the end, I'm guessing. I mean, there's more, there's more stuff around. I'm guessing that I can't go up to there. No, because that look, yeah, yeah. From from my memory, blurred out maps is the end. What? All the events are done. All right then. So that's it. Uh, I believe so. That's a shame. That was really, really short. Oh, okay. I don't care. Let's b let's t just kick up some sand. <sighs> wow, what a what a demo.
that is all I can say, really, on... Hold on, let me get away from this so I can get this stupid thing off my screen. There we go. So, what a demo that has been, ladies and gentlemen, as that is where I'm going to round up this horizon. Actually, hold on, let me do one last thing. And I'm going to leave this video off here. Thank you very much for watching, if you did. Uh, I'm guessing two videos of this. Um, it's been my first impressions for the Forza Horizon 3 demo. I am shocked. I am stunned. I have a million and one words to say about this, but all I could summarize it as is this. Anyone who thinks this game would fail down under needs to start thinking above the ground. But uh, when the full game drops, you can be sure that I will be jumping on top of it, getting onto the playthrough. I'll probably not play through that again since I've now just uploaded since I'm now uploading it to the channel. But I'll definitely go through uh, kicking off from them. But uh, I'll see you then, guys. I'll, I'll pick it up then when it is time on the 23rd of September. But until then, I'll see you then, guys. Goodbye. I still love the horns. I don't even care. Okay, you rejoin me now. Um, we're almost done with the install of this game, but one thing I'd just like to quickly say is that the size of this demo is insane. It is 18.34 gigabytes. You can see that on the left-hand side of your screens, just on the little list thing I have on the left. And just to, just so you can have some context here, as you can see, that is bigger than Dark Souls 3, Overwatch, Dark Souls 2. Forza Horizon. A demo that is a tiny bit of a game is somehow bigger than other games that are whole. I, I can't tell if that's just maybe file size being massive for these. Because, I mean, compare those two. And the file size is ridiculous. But, well, the difference is quite ridiculous for 360 games. But I can't tell if it's extra attention put into just demos of the game. If it's extra attention, then absolutely full props, 10 out of 10, massive round of applause to um, Playground Games. Because they are, if, that's, if they're putting that much work into a demo, then the amount of work they must put into the full games is astonishing. But if it is just bad rendering, then... Uh, you may want to work on that because, well, Horizon 2 is pretty much 40 gig. And that's bigger than. Well, here you go, a few games Witcher 3, Shadow of Mordor, uh, Far Cry 4, F1 2016. It's bigger than quite a few games. Especially Witcher 3, that thing's huge. X gon' give it to ya, he gon' give it to ya, X gon' give it to ya, he gon' give it to ya. Don't turn around, cats can be something from me. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start going for that now. Just drive up to the marker to start. No one's me, me against you. All right, people want to see you racing, so let's start getting the single race exhibition. Chill, I'm back in the streets open. I've been doing this for 19 years. Why fight me, fight these damn? Because I'm just gonna, I need to stop. <laughs>